Hello, we're going to start in one minute. Let's get ready, please. Oh, oh, my God. Let's just start with our class for today. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Angie. How are you? I I <laughs> I go. I got I I I do. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, very good. I'm good too. Exciting for the weekend. Exciting for Holly, for Holly uh, week. Yes, teacher. Excited for the Holy Week. Ya para la Semana Santa. Yes, teacher. Pero luego esperamos vernos pronto. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, okay. yes. We're going to have. We're going to be the Holy Week. week. Semana okay. Santa. Holy, Holy Week. week. Next week is Halloween. Okay. okay, now, hi, hi Karina. teacher. How are you today? Good. How are Good you evening. doing? Good evening, mister. How are you? Good evening, Good teacher. Fine. I relax this day. <laughs> Good evening. Me too. Me too. Hi, Good evening. Hi. How are you? We meet, we missed you yesterday. Oh, yes, I miss you too. Uh, I have a lot of work in housing about my labor. Yeah. Of... yeah. Maybe. Oh, it's because of the, the vacation, no, right? No, no. It's for another activities that I am, um, that the, the company introduced to my, my chief. So, Ajá. Oh. More work. Por el partido de la celeta fue teacher, mentira. Es correcto, mentira. No. Está diciendo que, que me está mintiendo. No, no, no. Oye, okay. que se fue y aparece ahí en 400. En el gráfico. Con la bandera. Con un choripán ahí. Ay. Teacher, choripán no los he probado y son famosos. Rico. No los ha probado. No. no es salvadoreña, hija. No lo es. No lo ¿Cómo es? no? Pero siempre me dicen los choripanes, choripanes, y nadie, y no me invitan a un choripán. En la graduación de English vamos a dar choripanes. 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 Sí, sí, Son fresco, ya lo he escuchado. Yo, con fresco de dulce procedencia. De mango, ahorita está de... De moda el mango, fresco de mango. No, ni sabemos de qué es el fresco, pero usted no lo toma con el choripán en el estadio. Mejor con soda. <ríe> Más seguro. Más seguro. Más seguro. You don't want to live the full experience. <ríe> ok, so, beautiful people, today we're going to start with our National English for Work program. Right. And in today's class, Today is class number 20, right? We have video conferencia numero 20, unit for review and practice, right? So that's what we're going to do. 
And today I would like to just remind you, and I would say this in Spanish because it's very important that everyone has the same information, right? Vamos a tener este día eh, la, el desarrollo de la encuesta. Pa, ustedes van a llenar la encuesta. Así se dice. Ustedes van a llenar la encuesta. Por favor, vamos a seguir los pasos acorde. Eso lo vamos a hacer a las 9 y 20 de la noche. Por si se me olvida. Ustedes recuerdenme. Okay. Señora, ya son las 9 y 20. ¿Verdad? Porque a esa hora lo vamos a realizar. 9 y 20 de la noche. Tenemos que estar trabajando en la encuesta. ¿Okay? Vamos a trabajar todos juntitos, unos 15 minutos. Y luego seguimos con nuestra clase como que nada ha pasado. Now. Oops. Now. We're going to start here. Yesterday, unfortunately, my internet was not cooperating. Right? So... We had a problem to solve this exercise. Right? No terminamos de resolver este ejercicio porque mi internet estaba algo eh, desorganizado. Right? Es so, right? So we're going to, I think we were in number six, if I'm not mistaken. I were in number six. I don't know if you can help me out. Yo sé que fueron muy responsables y terminaron el ejercicio. Uh, Carmen, maybe you can take a screenshot of this exercise. Right? And then you send me the answers if you want me to check. Okay? Now, number six. I am going, it says, I'm going to the vegetable market. What do you have there, Angie, for number six? I'm going to the vegetable market. I'm going to the vegetable market um hmm. what is the answer ahorita uh, teacher um songs Um, Podria, <laughs> would you please buy some rabbit food? Okay, could you please buy some rabbit food? Okay, in the vegetable market. Um, maybe, maybe you may you may find some rabbit food. Who has a different answer? Thank you, Angie. Carmen, okay. what do you have? Could you please buy some carrots? Could you please buy some carrots? Excellent. Could you please buy some carrots? Very good job. I'm going to McDonald's. I'm going to McDonald's, Gabriel. McDonald's is, could you please get me some French fries? Could you please get me some French fries? Very good. Could you please get me some French fries? Excellent job. I'm going to the post office, Alexis. I'm going to the post office. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, repeat, please. I'm going to the post office. Stop. Uh... Um, stop, stop. Uh, it's number eight. I'm going to the post office. Office, office, office. Um, uh, call Joe, please call, call me when you read comment. Mm, that doesn't match, eh, Alexis. It, does, it doesn't match. Mm. 
the, the post office is the place, the post office, number eight, is the place where you can send your letters to another country or they send you packages sometimes. You receive packages from the US or you can send packages to another people, right, to other people. Um, office, office, is, office is like the email, physical emails. Physical, right? physical mail, yes. Or you send letters, exactly. Letters, ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Where you send letters, that's the post office. And nowadays, you also send like packages, like boxes with things inside. So what do you think is, who wants to help Alexis? I'm going to the post office. Uh, oh, oh, please, please get, get some, some stamps. Stamp. Could you please get some stamps? Very good. Could you please get some stamps? The stamps are the little things. If you have, if you have a letter, they have a stamp in the corner. In the corner, they have a little stamp. Very good. I'm going to a pet shop. Concepcion, I'm going to a pet shop. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Gabriel. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, could you please buy some fish and chips for me? Could you please buy some fish and chips for me? Fish and chips for me. I'm going to a pet shop. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay. A pet shop is a place where you keep your animals. For example, if you go to a pet shop, you are going to find dogs, you're going to find cats, animals, little animals that you can put, you can have in your house. Uh, would you please please buy some rabbit food? Could you please buy some rabbit yes. food? Very good. Could you please buy some rabbit food? And the last one is I'm going home. I'm going home. Could you please tell me when? Yes, go ahead, say it. Say it. it. Home. When you get home. Could you please call me when you get home? me when you get home. Excellent. Very good. So these are these are scenarios that you can uh, create, right? When you are writing the questions with food. Now, before we continue, I am going to ask, I'm going to call the attendance real quick. Okay. Give me a moment. Please turn on your cameras if you can. Ooh. Turn on your cameras, Jennifer, Maria. Turn on your cameras. Enciende su camarita, por favor. And we start with Ana Gabriela Cordova de Samayoa. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria Juarez. Presente, teacher. Azalea Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Carmen Lizette Hernandez Escobar. Present. Thank you. Celia Jasmin Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Miquel Sandoval Avilés. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. So much. Eh, Juan Jose Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Ileana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Ricardo Rodríguez. Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. 
Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Pedrina, mute. Eh, Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Jennifer? I think she cannot hear me. But she's there. She's there. Okay. Now. No me mencionó. Eh, Ricardo Gabriel Parenga Ventura. Present. Thank you. Now, moment. Okay. Now, we're going to continue here with the next activity. And I want you to look at this useful vocabulary that we are going to, to do, okay? Let me show you. Okay. We have this useful vocabulary that we're going to use. We have different phrases, and this is the task, okay? This is what we're going to do. Number one and number two. Useful vocabulary. These are the phrases that we're going to use to do an activity. It says, meet again next week, leave a message, have a room for two, please hear some juicy gossip, see another color, explain these figures, put this up here, two bottles of water, get technical assistance, okay? So please repeat with me the pronunciation. I will say your name and you repeat with me. Maria Concepcion. Repeat with me the first phrase. Meet again next week. Meet again next week. Very good. Meet again. Mix, meet again. Again next week. Again next week. Very good. Uh, Carmen, leave a message. Leave a message. Very good. Emerson, have a room for two. Have a room for two. Very good. Hey, Asalia, please hear some juicy gossip. Please hear some just gossip. Juicy gossip. Juicy gossip. Very good. Uh, Celia, see another color. See another color. Very good. Pedrina, explain these figures. Que le repita, dice, teacher. Explain. These figures. Figures. These figures. 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 Very good. Explain these figures. Explain these figures. Very, figure. Very good. Very good. Now please repeat please with me. With me. Sandra, put this up here. Put this up here. Put this up here. Put this up here. Up. Up here. Up. Put this up here. Up here. Up here. Very good. Uh, let's see, Gabriel. Two bottles of water. Two bottles of water. Bottles of water. Bottles of water. Very good. And the last one, please, Daniel, get technical assistance. Daniela, get, get technical assistant. Get technical assistant. Get technical assistant. Technical assistant. Very good. Very good. Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to write some sentences using could and would, if possible, right? Sentences using this vocabulary. So it means that right now, I need you to please. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this vocabulary because you are going to use it. 
And tell me if you understand the vocabulary. Do you understand the vocabulary that we're going to use? ¿Se entiende el vocabulario que vamos a usar? Yes, teacher. Yes, Angela says yes. What yes. about the others? Yes, teacher. Yes, Maybe. okay. Maybe. Okay, what are your questions? Si tienen preguntas, hagamos preguntas. ¿Entienden todo el vocabulario que vamos a utilizar? The vocabulary is, uh, 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 we use to, to task. We use to task. Yes, we're going to use the vocabulary, Ricardo, to create the examples that we're going to make in one moment. Okay? Okay. Okay, yes. Now, the vocabulary meet again next week. ¿Entienden el vocabulario que significa cada una de las frases que podemos utilizar? No teacher, okay. use costing. What mean use costing? This one? Use, uh-huh. Please hear yes. some juicy gossip. Yes. Juicy gossip. Es cuando la vecina le llega a contar ahí las cosas de los demás. Juicy gossip es como decir... Eh, un rumor así que tiene ¿cómo sería? <risa> cuando la gente está hablando de los demás ¿ok? please hear some juicy gossip usualmente por ejemplo en las oficinas a veces siempre hay alguien que anda hablando de todos los demás contando todos los rumores y cosas que pueden ser ciertas o no de cada una de las personas de, de, de la oficina En los barrios hay siempre una vecina, por ejemplo. Right? Please hear some juicy gossip. It's more common on the men. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Now, that is some juicy gossip, Sandrita. Okay? Thank you. Now, uh, what about the others? Any questions? Okay, now, since you don't have questions, we're going to start with our exercise. In our exercise, I put number two. This computer is not cooperating. Now, remember, you have the useful vocabulary here, okay? The useful vocabulary. With the useful vocabulary, we are going to look at the pictures. Right. In the first one, right, we have a person that is taking a taxi, right? He's taking a cab, a taxi, an Uber, right? And he says, could you please take me to the airport? Right? Could you please take me to the airport? That is one phrase that I can use, right? And then I have other pictures here. What, what phrase can I use for these two? Number two, what phrase can I use for number two? Teacher, I think, for example, could you please have a room for two? Okay, could you please have a room for two? Okay, very good. I don't know if there is a problem ah, of the Tenemos que hacer relación con los que nos dio, teacher. Entonces, exactly, very good. We are using... Yo no le había entendido. We are using this vocabulary. We we'll write sentences, examples with this vocabulary for this sentence. Okay. Now, pueden ustedes, este es el vocabulario, have a room for two. Okay. Pero ustedes lo pueden modificar para crear las preguntas con could. Okay. With could. So we have have a room for two. Okay. Carmen. How can we write this? Uh, as a question. Mm -hmm. Could I? Could uh, it, it doesn't have to be always. Could you. I have? Ah, could I have? Could I have? Could, could I please? Mm -hmm. Could I have please? a room for two? Could, could, I, could, could I, I please have a room for two? Very good. Oops, Jesus Christ. 
could I please have a room for two? Okay, so this woman is asking the receptionist, could I please have a room for two? Right, very good. And that's the same that we're going to do with the others, okay? We have different phrases for number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? There are some phrases that you might not want to use. Hay otras que no las van a usar, no se preocupen. Yes? Pero ahí no le está diciendo, puede decirme si tiene o así estaría bien. No le está preguntando. Por favor, tenerme un. No. Ahí le está diciendo que ella necesita un cuarto para dos. Ah, eso es lo que le digo, no hay, no está esa palabra, I need, I rester. But you, uh, you, you're using could. Podría. Remember, Sandrita, recuérdese uh -huh. que could significa request. Ok. Could is request. Could I please have a room for two? Ella está solicitando. Ya el, 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 uh, el uso de could, como lo mencionamos ayer, es para hacer un request. Un request es una solicitud. Que usted, si hace una solicitud. You. ¿Ah? No sería you. You en vez de I. No, porque ella lo está diciendo. Ella ah. lo está diciendo. Could I please have a room for two? Could I please have a room for two? ¿Me puede dar un, un cuarto para dos, por favor? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. No todas, puede, no todas van a ir siempre con you. Pueden cambiarlas. Recuérdense que podemos... Ayer Asalia nos preguntó, ¿puedo usar cualquier subject pronoun? Yes. You can ah, claro, use any claro subject sí. pronoun. Pero ahí como es ella, usted, con you, ¿podría usted darme un cuarto para dos? Entonces ya no utilizaríamos have. Tenemos que utilizar give. Could you please give me a room for two? Mm. Sería... sería que si ella se lo está solicitando, de esa forma que ustedes me dicen, could you please, vamos a cambiar el verbo, could you please give me a room for two? A room for two. Could you please give me a room for two? Ok. Esa sería otra opción. Pero ahí ya modificamos la frase que tenemos al otro lado. Okay? okay, very good. Now, please take a screenshot of the of how you are going to complete this. Take a screenshot. Let me know when you have yes, the screenshot. Teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. Okay, now, we are going to complete this in pairs. Right, we're going to complete this in pairs. Right, let's go ahead and work right now. No, 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 no. Okay. We're going to be with somebody else, two people at the same time. All right, let's go and let's complete the exercise. ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar en estos momentos? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Gabriel says yes. Carmen, Sandrita, Asalia, Leida. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Eh, sería todo solo con could. Could and if you can use if you can use would, you can use would as well. If it's possible to use would, use it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now let me share again. Let's go. Select your groups, please.
Jenny, Amilcar, please select your groups. Jenny and Amilcar. Jenny? Uh, Ahí está, se ve. Yes. 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 Ok. Vaya, en, las, en esa sería como de archivar, ¿verdad? Yo he... he He puesto la primera que he contestado dice Could you archive all this document? Archive uh -huh. or file. Mejor diga así, file. File. Pero, ok, tengo entendido que tendremos que ocupar el vocabulario que estaba Exacto. anteriormente. Exacto. Entonces, tal vez yo colocaría Could you put this up here? Is up here. Exactly. Exactly. Would you please put this up here? Yo me le manté. Yo me le manté. Me dirigí con él. ¿Cuál sería el ejemplo entonces? La, la uno. Eh, Tiene el vocabulario, Sanía. Es que yo estaba eh, viendo la, la donde están los documentos, los archivos. De estar el señor no, sí, disponible. está bien, está bien, pero tenemos un vocabulario que vamos a usar, Azalea. ¿Lo copió? No, es que, es que en ese momento me levanté. Vaya, se lo voy a compartir. Vaya, se lo voy a compartir para que los dos tengan lo mismo. Ese es el vocabulario. Ah, ok. Tome un screenshot, por favor. Vaya, y el que le dice Emerson es este. Put This up here. Ah, me trajo esta cosa. Ahorita. Ok. Este es el que le está diciendo a Emerson. Put this up here. This up here. Okay. Very good. Dejo de compartir. Y usted comparte hoy. Call you. Okay. Ahora comparta de nuevo. Ya puede compartir. Excelente, Tell me if you have a question. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Eh, yo por el momento no, teacher. No, ok. ¿Y yo, Sally? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Ya le entendí. Ya, yeah, ok. Ok, very good. I will go solo to another. Que, solo, solo, teacher. ¿Sí? Eh, para compartir la otra. Eh, 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 Emerson se la, puede, se la puede estar compartiendo, no hay problema. Eh, okay. Si gusta, comparto yo. Yes. Ok. I will go to another group. Lo que no la estaba momento. buscando. Ok. Ok. Comparto ahorita, regáleme un minutito. Ay, me salieron mucho. Muchas ventanas me salieron ahorita. Lo veo otro okay. rato. Pero... Ay, teacher. Ok. Voy a otro grupo. Nos vemos. <ríe> Ay. Eh, quiero ver cómo deja de compartir usted. Aquí está. Eh, Azalia. Pero que tengo que cerrar de... aquí unas páginas. Es que tengo que cerrar. Ahorita, ahorita, espérenme que, que tengo muchas ventanas abiertas. ¿Será? ¿Así? Eh, quiero ver. No, te, en, la parte la de abajo de, en la parte de abajo donde está el... el, el la... Ok. La vida llamada. Todavía ve usted la otra porque yo. Sí. 
Ahí de, debe de darle donde dice compartir pantalla a modo de ya no compartirla. Eh, no, ingrese a la a Zoom. Me salí. Exacto, ingrese a Zoom. En la parte de abajo salí, dice compartir ¿verdad? pantalla. Ajá. Ahí dele clic y sería dejar de compartir. Pero es que este se me ha hecho bien raro. Se me distorsionó la pantalla. Salir de la sala para grupos reducidos. Milcar. I think. Hello, Amilcar. Hola. Hi, are you working on the exercise, Amilcar? I think Jennifer has problems with the internet. Creo que Jennifer tiene problemas con el internet. Lo voy a poner con otro grupo, ¿ok? Vaya, está bien. Vaya, para que participe con ellos, por lo menos. O esté de oyente bueno. en esa actividad. Lo poner bueno, con bueno. otro grupo. Another. I see. Y la última... Hola, so, teacher. La del agua. Va. Another color. La última sería la del agua. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con, call you two, two uh -huh. bottle, bottles of water. What is the verb? Call you. Eh, you. You no es el verbo. Recuerden que necesitan un verbo. El modal, subject, modal, and verb. ¿Cuál sería el verbo ahí? El verbo. Oh. Dame la oración. ¿Cómo diría? Sería. Eh, could you please have uh, two bottles of water? Could you please have two bottles of water? Ok. Could you please have two Ok, Ajá. pero en oh, este wow. caso, cuando usted le dice have, le dice, puede usted tomarse dos botellas con agua. Y eso no lo, no lo está, está pasando. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el verbo que utilizamos para pedir? Por yo... Mm, give. Ask. Give. 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 Ask uh, es preguntar. Could you please give? Could you please give me two bottles of water? Give me. G I V E M E. Give. G G I G I D I E A D I E I give give you give me give me give me give you give ah, okay. her uh -huh. separado give me two bottles bottles of water Will you please give me two bottles of water okay cool i y en esta sería, sería bien con I see another color. O también nos está faltando. Pero ahí el verbo. Could I see another color? Yes, that's okay. correct. Could I see another color? En, en la de, en la de you, en la de sería de escuchar, ¿verdad? Please hear some quizzy gossip. Can you. Call, call you. Call you. Uh -huh. um, Would you? El, el, el verbo escuchar es um, listen, ¿no? Hear. Oh, listen. Uh. Could you listen? Please hear some juice gossip. Could you? Ah, uh, could you? Okay, could you listen or could you please listen to this? 
Could you please hear some juicy gossip? Here. Could you please hear? Hear some juicy gossip. Here. Some juicy gossip. Y en, el de, y, en, uh -huh. y en el de leave a message sería call you, no, call I have leave a message. Uh, leave is the verb. Leave is the, the verb. verb. Uh -huh. Leave is the verb. Entonces sería call I leave a message. Could I leave a message? Very good. Solo estas dos eran las que no tenían verbo. El de, el de... Bueno... Ajá, no lo tenía la acordado. última, la de botella, la de two bottles, two bottles of water. Solo sí. Esta. Yes. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You, teacher. Thank you. Ya terminamos, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Ok. Vámonos entonces con los demás. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so let's see the possible answers that we can have for these pictures, okay? It's Take a look at them right now. Right? Now, number two. Number two, well, number two, we did number two. Number three, we have here number three. Let's see, Emerson. What do you have in number three? Number three is the de donde está la grafiquita, verdad? Yes, that's not, yes, number hey. three. Uh, could, you, could you explain these figures? Could you explain these figures? Very good. Could you explain these figures? Excellent job, Emerson. Excellent job. Could you explain these figures? Very good. Choose another person, Emerson. Escoja otra persona, por favor. Ok, ahorita solo veo quiénes están. Mm. Um, María Concepción. María Concepción. Do number four, María Concepción. Chico, uh, speak, please hear some news. Okay. Let me see one moment. I didn't I didn't write the one that Emerson told me. Emerson repeat, could you? Uh, number three. Mm -hmm. Could you explain these figures? These figures. Repeat figures. These figures. Could you explain these figures? Very good. Now what is your answer, Miss Concepcion? Thank you. People speak, please hear some news to Yossi. No sé cómo es eso. Okay. Could you, remember it's a question. Could you? Could you? Could you please hear some juicy gossip? Could you please, please hear some juicy, 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 juicy gossip? Repeat Hello. with me. Repeat okay. with me. Could you please hear some juicy, some juicy gossip? Juicy gossip. Juicy gossip. Juicy gossip. Juicy gossip. Okay. Hear some juicy gossip. Hear you. Hear some juicy gossip. Gossip. That's it. No much gossip. 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 Very good. Choose another person, Concepcion. Uh, Ricardo. Hello. <laughs> 
Number five. Oh, ah, number number five. five, yes. Okay. Could you put this up here, please? Could you put this up here, please? Okay. Could you put this up here? You say please, right? Can you please say please? Very good. So we have number five, it's complete right here. Could you, could you put this up here, please? Very good. Ricardo, choose another person. Asalia. Number six, Asalia. Le adiviné, yo dije que a mí me iba a decir. ¿Cuál, teacher? Six. 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 Call. Call. Cool. I live. Es que no la va a Cool. I cool. live a. I leave a message. Okay, very good. Now, repeat with me. Could. Could. That's it? That's it? Esa es la pronunciación. Could. Could. Could I leave a message? Okay. Now say it. Could I leave a message? 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 Very good. Thank you so much, Asalia. Very good. Asalia, yeah. choose another person. Um, Alexis. Alexis, number seven. Number seven. Uh, uh, could you are uh, please see another color? Okay, repeat. Could you please see another color? Okay, very good. Could you please see another color? Okay, very good. Now, normally, normally, the person that is going to buy the clothing or the fabric is going to ask to see the other color. So what would be the change that you can make here? Thank you, Alexis. ¿Qué otro cambio podemos hacer para esta pregunta? Y también creo que puede ser. Ay. Okay, ay. Could I, could I please see another color? Cuando usted va a comprar, y solo le da un color negro, color rojo. Could I please see another color? Okay. Could I please see another color? Very good. Alexis, choose another person. Hola. Choose another person. Repeat. Choose another person. Hmm. Escoja otro compañero, por favor. Ah, ok, ok, ok. No sé, casi no se le escuchaba. Eh, no sé quién es esta. Uh -huh. Carmen. Carmen. Go with number eight, Carmen. Could you please give us two bottles of water? Ok, very good. Could you please give us two bottles of water? Two bottles of water. Very nice. Could you please give us two bottles of water? Very good. Now, these are the answers that we have, right? I want you to practice the pronunciation of this form with me. Uh, Gabriel, can you give me the, no the answer for number two again? Your mic? Teacher, sorry, eh, me acaban de llamar. Dame un momento. Ah, no, could, you, no. <laughs> could you please give me a room for two? Could you please give me give a, me room a room for two? Okay. Very good. 
that's another option here. Now we're going to go ahead and practice the pronunciation. I will ask some of you, so please pay attention to your name, right? When I say your name, pay attention to it, right? Okay, Alexis, repeat with me. Could you please take me to the airport? Could you please take me to the airport? Okay, repeat again. Could you please take me to the airport? Could you please take me to the airport? To the airport. To the airport. To the airport. 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 Could you please take me to the airport? Could you please take take to the uh, airport? <laughs> okay, one more time, please. Could yes. you please take me to the airport? Could you please take to the airport? Airport. Airport. Okay. Airport. Number two, Asalia. Could you please give me a room for two? Could you please give me a room for two? Give me. Give me. Give. Give me. Okay. Could you please give me a room for two? Could you please give me a room for two? Very good. Very good. Angie, could you put this up here, please? Could you put this up? Please <laughs> listen Please. to me. Listen to me. Could you could you put this up here, please? Could you put this up here, please? Could you put could you put this up here, please? Very good. Sandrita, could I leave a message? Sandrita? Could I leave a message? Could I leave a message? Could I leave a message? Very good. Gana Cordova, could you explain these figures? Could you explain these figures? Could you play, explain these figures? Okay, one more time. Could you explain these figures? Could you explain... The could Explain. you explain explains these figures? Explains very good. Now, uh, Celia, could you please hear some juicy gossip? Could you please hear some juicy gossip? Could. Could. Repeat. Could. 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 Okay, la L no la pronunciamos, chicos. Could. Repeat. Repeat. No, tampoco lo vamos a decir. No. Tampoco lo vamos a decir con O. Listen to me. Could. Could. Could you please hear some juicy gossip? Could you please hear some juicy gossip? Here. Here. Okay, gossip. Gossip. Very good. Now, let's practice here, Pedrina. Could I please see another color? Could I, could I please see another color? Listen again. Could I please see another color? Could I please see another color? See. 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 Okay, listen to me, Pedrina. See. See. No, no estoy pronunciando Z. Sí. Sí. Could I please see another color? Could I, could I please see another color? Another. Another color. Very good. Could I please see another color? Could I please see another color? Very good. Very good. Leida, could you please give me, well, could you please Give us two bottles of water. Could you please give give us 
the bottles of water. Very good. One more time. Could you please give us two bottles of water? Could you please give us two bottles of water? Very good. Very good. Now, we're going to continue here. Do you have a question about this exercise? Is this clear? ¿Entienden este ejercicio? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Por favor, hagamos las preguntas. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Co Nosotros hicimos eh, con la pareja que tenía ¿Mm? un cambio en cool en dos de las eh, sentences. Okay. Two sentences. En in number four, eh, ah. we use wool for eh, the imagine no no is clear for this a question or conversation normal. Eh, what did you write? Eh, what is your example? Por ejemplo, ahí el nosotros pusimos. Well, would you please? Uh, would you please hear some juicy gossip? Yes, that's correct. Uh, ah, okay. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay. Would you please hear some juicy gossip? Right. Very good. That is correct, uh, Gabriel and company. It is correct. Now let's see another uh, person. Any questions? Again, ask. Solo Gabriel tenía duda. Yes, Concepción. Eh, nosotros también con mi pareja usamos eh, They would like get technical assistance. Usamos el bull. In which one? Number? Es la la de la asistencia. Nosotros la pusimos en la, en la tres, la habíamos puesto en la. Okay. Number three. Okay, what is what is your number three? Lo habíamos colocado como el wow. No habíamos usado el, el ¿Cuál es el ejemplo? Could you would you would you, you please get technical assistance? Say here. No, pero yo uso wood. ¿Cuál es el ejemplo que ah. tiene con wood? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el ejemplo? Eh, Según nosotros en la 3 necesitaban como asistencia técnica. Ok. ¿Cuál fue el ejemplo que escribieron para saber si está bien escrito? Would you like? Would you like? Eh, get technical assistance. Ok, very good. The only thing is that we're going to put would you like to get technical assistance. Very good. Would you like to get technical assistance? That is another option, very good. Would you like to get technical assistance? That is correct. Teacher, in the number five, uh -huh. can be, could I put this up here, please? Because I see the, the, the man is a stand up, is asking if he can put it in. That is correct. But in that case, remember, we're going to change like, the person who is speaking is going to be like number two, okay? So in this case, if I put it here, right, if I put this right here, then the guy here is going to speak. But if I put here, right, could I, and then could I put this up here, please? Okay. Dependiendo quién lo va a decir, okay? Dependiendo. Si lo dice él, sería aquí. Could I put this up here? Si lo dice él, right? could you put this up here, please? I don't have more space on my desk. Put it up. Okay. Good question, uh, Concepcion. Good question, Carmen. Any other questions? Yes. ¿Alguien escribió otro ejemplo? Yes, Alexis. Eh, la palabra aeropuerto es airport. Exactly. ¿verdad? Airport. Okay. Airport. Airport. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good question, Alex. Thank you so much. Sí, una más. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> eh, 
Es una frase hecha. Eh, take me to. Take me to the airport. Yes. Take me to the airport. Take me to the hospital. Uh, I don't. I feel sick. Take me to the to the hospital. Yes. Okay. Es una frase. No, eh, no es una frase. Es un verbo cuando se dice take me to. Le está pidiendo a alguien que lo lleve a un lugar. Pero. Ah, okay. You say, take me to the airport, take me to the school, right? Pero usted le está pidiendo a alguien que lo lleve. Si no puede decir, I can take you to the airport. Take me, take me to. I can but, take but me uh, to the verb take using, uh, for example, I take my, I take my phone. Or I, I am going to take my phone with me. Take. Yes. Take. 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 I am going to take my medicines with me. I am going on, on vacations. So I'm going to take my medicines. You can use that like that too. Exactly. Another question. No questions? Please take a screenshot of the answers. Take a screenshot of the answers. Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. Now, let me go ahead and stop sharing these. We're going to do another exercise for you. Remember, today is review. And right now, we're going to combine would, can, and could. Would, can, and could. This is a matching activity. Just match the two sentences and write the correct letter. Right? So what are we doing here? We are matching the possible answers with a normal conversation that we can have. Right? And the first one says, would you like to come for lunch this weekend? Would you like to come for lunch this weekend? We take a look at the possible answers here from letter A to letter H, right? Which one do you think is going to be the answer? Would you like to come for lunch this weekend? Let's think about the answer. Let's think about the answer right now. Well, 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 actually, my mom's not feeling well. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Okay, very good. That could be a possible answer. Very good. Now, now, we are going to listen to all the questions, okay? Listen to the pronunciation. We're going to practice pronunciation. And before we do that, before we do that, we're going to check here two things. Pronunciation of this. Could. 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 Pronunciation of this. Would. 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 Okay. Pronunciation of this. Can. 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 Okay, Again. one more time. Could, could, would, 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 can, can, what? Okay, could, would, could. and can. Well, can. Okay, would, would. would. Asalia, would. Uh, Asalia. Teacher, ahí solo se pronuncia solo la W o D. U. No la O, la U. Good. Would, can. Okay. Would, 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 
Okay. Cold. Could, would, can. Repeat. Could, would, can. Very good. Now, listen, listen to my pronunciation and then we're going to practice, okay? I will say one name and you repeat with me, please, as well. Let's pay attention to the pronunciation. Uh, would you like to come for lunch this weekend? Emerson, repeat. Would you like to come for lunch this weekend? Would you like to come for lunch this weekend? Very good. Thank you so much, Emerson. Number two, can you help me with this table a moment? Can you help me with this table a moment? Ana Gabriela, can you help me with this table a moment? Can you help me with this table a moment? Very good, thank you so much. Next one, please, Gabriel. Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? Nearest. Nearest. Nearest bank is, please. Nearest bank is, please. Very good. Number four. Please help me, Concepcion. Would you like me to ask my brother? Would you like me to ask my brother? Okay, again, okay. one more time, Concepcion. Would you like me to ask my brother? Would you like me to ask my brother? Ask. Ask. My brother, excellent, excellent. Number five, please help me out. Luis Armando, can I come round to your house later? Can I can I run to your to die? Okay, listen. Can, don't worry. Listen again. Can I come round to your house later? Can I can I come right? To your house alert. Round to your house. Round to your house. Later. Later. Can I come round to your house later? Can I can, can I, I round to your can to I your, come? Read the words. Can I come can I, round to your house later? Can I run to your life house a letter? Ah? A letter. Usted se inventó. <laughs> okay, again, Luis. Luis, uh, Luis. Can I come? Can I come? Round to your house. Round to your house. Later. Later. Thank you. Uh, let's continue. Amilcar. Could you lend me 20, please? Could you lend me 20, please? Could. Could. Could you lend me 20, please? Could you lend me 20, please? Very good. Thank you so much, Amelia. Let's continue. Leida, can I get you a cup of tea? Can I get you a cup of tea? Very good. No, um, otra or... vez. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Can I get you a cup of tea? Excellent. <laughs> Number eight, tell me how there, Carmen. <clears throat> Would you mind passing me that menu, please? Would you mind passing me that menu, please? Excellent job. Very good. Now we have the questions that we're going to practice, right? And we're going to match the questions right now. We're going to have a couple of minutes. Let's do it. Uh, let's do this individually. Let's do it individually. Right now, let's just start right now. Let's do it individually.
Tell me if you have a question. Tell me if you have a question. Just give me one moment. I'm going to get some, some water. Give me one second. Sorry guys, but I need a water. Okay, did you finish the exercise? No teacher. Not yet? No, Tell me if you have no, questions. No, 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 Okay. <laughs> yes, it's better. I have a question here in the chat. Give me five minutes, okay. You have two. I finished, teacher. You finished? Very well. Excuse me. Put okay, mute, please. Put mute. Thank you. Ooh. My ears. Okay, let's go ahead and try to do this exercise. We're going to check the first three and then we're going to start getting ready for the encuesta, okay? Now, let's start with number one. Do you have the same, is still the same answer? Would you like to come for lunch this weekend? What's the answer you have, Carmen? Oh, I love to. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Okay, very good. We have letter H. Okay, Carmen yeah. has letter H. Very good. Who has a different answer? Who has a different answer? Everyone has letter H. Todos tienen la letra H. Everyone has letter H. 
Yes. Yes? Okay. Can you help yes, me? Very good. Pedrina, number two. Can you help me with this table a moment? Tengo la de él, teacher. What do you have? Yes, of course, and here you go. Yes, of course, here you go, okay? It sounds, it sounds good, okay? But when you say here you go, you can tell me, um, Sylvia, can you help me with, with the medicine? Oh, yes, of course, here you go. Here you go. Here you go means to give something. Right? Cuando ustedes le dan a alguien algo. ¿Cuál sería otra opción? Thank you, Pedrina. What could be another option for, for number two? Letter E. Letter yes. E. Yes, yeah, sure. Where do you want to put it? Yes, yeah, sure. Where do you want to put it? Excellent job. Excellent job. Just sure. Where do you want to put it? Right? It's, it is the table. Right? Number three, Sandrita. Could you tell me where the nearest bank is? D, yes, of course, here you go. Okay, but I just said that here you go significa otra cosa. Here you mm. go significa, por ejemplo, usted me dice, eh, Silvia, eh, ¿me puedes dar el libro? Yes, here you go. Mm. Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? What do you have? Eh, nearest, que es, teacher? Nearest. Nearest, cerca, el más cercano. Could you tell me where the, the nearest bank is, please? Okay. Teacher. Ah, uh -huh. uh, la three, question three. Uh -huh. eh, yo la tengo como... Eh, I, I am sorry, I'm not from around here. Very good. I'm sorry, I'm not from I'm... around here. Very good, that is correct. ¿Cómo, cómo yes. se pronuncia lo último, Tisha? Around here. Around here. Ar around here. Around Thank here. You. That's very good. So now we are going to, okay. <laughs> okay, could you please tell me where the nearest bank is here? I'm sorry, I'm not from around here. Okay. Now. Let me go ahead, we're going to stop for a moment. Remember the answers, H, E, F, H, E, F. Esas son las respuestas que han dado. Vamos a parar y vamos a pasar a español por un momento. Okay, we're gonna start getting ready. Okay. We're going to start and I would need you to please turn on your cameras for this activity. It's very essential that we do so. And we're going to start doing something here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you received, pero, en español, en español. Estoy segura que ya recibieron el mensaje cada uno. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Very well. Bye. Vamos a comenzar entonces. Pongamos atención y ya sabemos cómo nos fue la vez anterior para la, el desarrollo de la actividad. Ok. Entonces, yo les comparto acá mi pantalla. Lo vamos a completar al mismo instante todos, así que nos vamos a esperar. Después, vamos a realizar la encuesta de, eh, de satisfacción. En este caso, en Safo requiere que usted coloque su nombre completo, tal, tal como aparece en el DUI, la dirección de correo con la cual accede a clases, el número de celular vigente y el nombre legal de su empresa. Esa es la información que se le va a solicitar y que es primordial que cada uno de ustedes proporcione al momento de llenar la encuesta. Ahora, todos ya recibieron este, este mensajito, ¿verdad? Que donde sí. está toda la información y todo lo demás. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Lo que vamos a hacer en este caso, porque ya tenemos acá los datos que vamos a utilizar. En estos momentos, como la vez pasada, no podíamos ni copiar ni pegar porque todo era un solo texto. 
yo se lo voy a enviar al chat del grupo uno por uno, ¿ok? Entonces me van a dar un segundo, así yo se los envío y ustedes lo pueden ir copiando. Pero al WhatsApp, teacher, tal vez ahí. Sí, al WhatsApp se lo voy a enviar, al WhatsApp del ah. grupo, ah, okay. cada uno de los mensajes. Va el primero en esos momentos, que es la orden de inicio. Así ustedes pueden copiar y pegar. Vamos con la primera no parte. no entramos, ¿verdad? O sí no, entramos toda, ya. No, todavía no, todavía no. Okay. Le voy a enviar la información. Y así ustedes se nos va a hacer un poco más fácil poder llenar la encuesta. Veamos el nombre del proveedor. Ya lo están recibiendo también. Luego el nombre del curso, inglés principiante módulo 2. Tenemos luego en qué fecha inició el curso. Iniciamos el 1 de marzo de 2021. Y luego, el, la última información que vamos a copiar y pegar es en qué fecha finalizó el curso, 26 de marzo de 2021. Ahora, yo les acabo de enviar todos los, los cinco mensajitos para los que estamos en dispositivos móviles. Se nos va a hacer mucho más fácil copiar y pegar la información o los datos del curso. Recuérdense que no podemos digitarlo. Vamos a copiarlo y pegar. ¿Ok? Ahora, todos recibieron el link de la encuesta, ¿verdad? El link de la encuesta nos va a decir que nosotros vamos a trabajar con una, con esta encuesta. Se la voy a mostrar rapidito para que vean y me digan si es lo mismo que ustedes van a ver cuando abren el link. Esta, perdón, tiene un momento. Yes, es, esto es lo que ustedes van a ver encuestas, encuestas de satisfacción inglés y van a ver las preguntas que, acabo, que yo les acabo de enviar las respuestas al chat de whatsapp, ustedes lo van a llenar recuerden, nombre completo como aparece en su DUI su correo electrónico con el cual se comunica, su número de celular vigente y la información que, que corresponde acá para cada uno ahora, después de eso cuando ya hemos respondido, ya hemos accedido al, al link, vamos a ser bien cuidadosos porque vamos a tratar de capturar la última imagen donde dice gracias por contestar esta encuesta. Esa imagen de gracias por contestar esa encuesta, usted la va a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp, no me la va a enviar a mí solamente, la va a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp que tenemos con su nombre completo. ¿Ok? Con su nombre completo va a enviar esa imagen, esa captura de pantalla. Cuando ya la termine, la envía, pero la vamos a enviar ordenadamente. Si usted va terminando, solo tome la captura y se espera un momento para que la podamos enviar uno por uno y no se nos vaya a perder entre las, entre las otras o que todos la enviemos al mismo tiempo. ¿Ok? Ahora, vamos a comenzar, por favor. Accedan ustedes al link. Y díganme si pueden acceder o tienen algún problema, algún inconveniente. Me indican, por favor. Ok, teacher. Okay, teacher, vamos. en la parte del nombre del proveedor con el que capacitó es inglés corporativo Regal Internacional. Regal Internacional. Es correcto. Pero, pero aquí dice nombre del proveedor, o sea, no se puede pegar y copiar porque eso es como una selección múltiple. Entonces, seleccionalo, por favor. Ah, vale, ok. Sí. El corporativo Regal International SA. Sí, vamos a, a seleccionar. Si nos deja seleccionarlo, lo seleccionamos sin ningún eh, inconveniente. Yo lo hice ayer, dicho en esa encuesta, ya la envié también. Eh, ¿Ya la realizó ayer? Sí, ya ayer lo hice. Ya también ya la envié. ¿A quién se la envió? Eh, no me acuerdo, pero ya parecía un chico ahí. Ok, sí, la, la íbamos a completar eh, juntos, fíjese Luis. Ah, ok, como ayer me lo enviaron dos veces y me hablaron que, que completar esa encuesta. Ok, entonces nos vamos a, 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 a esperar un momento. Ya nos van a indicar si la tenemos que realizar de nuevo o cuál va a ser el proceso, ok. Ok. Okay. Okay, yo tengo la captura todavía. Ok, tiene la captura. Ok, permítame un, un segundo. Okay. Ya le voy a indicar. Eh, 
Recuérdense cuando ustedes ya le den entregar a la encuesta, van a recibir una, una, van a recibir la captura de pantalla y ahí la van a tener. En el proveedor van a seleccionar las fechas, van a ver el calendario y vean las fechas que concuerden con lo que yo les envié en el, en el WhatsApp, por favor. Recuérdense las fechas que vamos a trabajar. Comenzamos el 1 de marzo de 2021. Abren el calendario y, y veo que lo pueden seleccionar. Seleccionan 1 de marzo y la fecha de finalización, 26 de marzo de 2021. Yo voy a enviar una imagen al grupo de WhatsApp con mi nombre para que vean todos los demás cómo va a ir esa imagen, ¿verdad? Va a ser una imagen cualquiera que yo voy a enviar. Eh, cuando la recibamos solamente veamos, ¿verdad? Cómo va a ir el nombre. Yo voy a poner en esta imagen mi nombre y así lo vamos a poner todos. Todavía no enviemos la imagen, por favor, hasta que sea indicado. Ok. Yo acabo de enviar una imagen en negro con mi nombre completo y así cada quien los, eh, la va a enviar cuando nos corresponde enviarla. Yo le voy a indicar cuándo. Yes, teacher. Perdón, eh, la imagen que, neces que se necesita es la de que se ha enviado la respuesta. Sí, una donde dice gracias, la respuesta, gracias, se, ha la respuesta se ha enviado. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí. Ah, pues, ah, pues ya, ya, la, ya tengo la captura. Ya tiene la captura, ok, perfecto. En este caso vamos, permítame un segundo. La imagen que ustedes van a enviar se parece a esto. Gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. Esa es la captura que nosotros necesitamos que confirma que ustedes ya completaron la encuesta. ¿Okay? Ahora, vamos a comenzar con Luis, que ya terminó Luis eh, su encuesta ayer. Luis, va ¿Sí? a enviar su imagen con su nombre completo, por favor. Así como envié yo esa imagen en negro, usted envía, ¿Sí? eh, va a enviar la captura con su nombre ahí. Y luego, Carmen, usted me mencionó que ha terminado, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok. Yo también, Pero, teacher. Ok. Primero Luis. Cuando Luis la haya enviado, la va a enviar después Carmen. Ya la terminé, teacher, yo también. Ok. Vamos a esperarnos un momento, Sale. Ya casi termino. Vamos a ver acá. Yo lo estoy verificando. Luis Armando Ventura, muchísimas gracias. Ya recibimos su respuesta. Ahora, Carmen, por favor. Carmen okay. Lizeth Hernández, muchísimas gracias. Ya tengo a Luis y a Carmen, a Salia. Eso, teacher. Okay. Right. Vamos a esperar un momento, eh, Ricardo. Ya la puede enviar a salud. Le envié, pero está cargando. Ah, ok. Listo. Ok, a Salia ya está. Por favor, Gabriel, envíe su captura. Ahorita. Eh, a Salia Melanie, teacher. ese es su nombre con el DUE. Correcto. A Salia Melanie, por ti. Ok. Okay. Después de Ricardo va a ser Emerson. Emerson, vamos a esperar un momento.
Ricardo Gabriel, ya se recibió en el grupo su imagen. Jennifer Avidail Scott, uy, se me adelantó Jennifer, muchas gracias. Eh, Emerson, esperemos que yo les indique, por favor, para que no nos confundamos y así puedo llevar yo aquí y ya lo termino. Emerson, okay. permítame un segundo, Sandrita. Ok. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas, ok, muchas gracias Emerson. Sandrita, es su turno, por favor, si ya terminó. Ok, ahorita... Bien, term ya terminó María Concepción. Sí. sí, ok. Vamos a esperar que Sandrita envíe su imagen y luego enviamos la de nosotros, ok. Vaya, teacher. Ya okay. teacher. Gracias, Sandr Sandrita. ¿Olvidamos el nombre completo? No. No me aparece ah, el nombre en, completo. Sí. En la imagen, en la imagen. Sí. Ok, <ríe> Ok, esa imagen y me la envía así como los demás. Ah, ok, espera, lo voy a eliminar entonces. Sí, por favor. Bueno, ahorita. Teacher. ¿Ya terminó? Eh, no, solo eh, lo primero, eh, ingrese el número completo de la orden. Es que en ese momento se me, se me cortó el audio, no escuché bien. Lo demás sí ya lo tengo, solo eso me falta. Ingrese el número, eh, el número de orden de inicio, es el primer mensaje que, eh, que envía el WhatsApp. Dice orden de inicio 26687, ese es el que va a copiar. Ah, ok, gracias. Sí. Yo ya terminé, ahí me avisa. Sí. Cuando le envíe. Ok. Sandra Gladys Méndez, ya está, Sandrita. Luego Todos. vamos. Gracias. Vamos con Concepción. Gracias, Concepción. Vamos, Ángela de Jesús. Ok, teacher. No se duerma, Sergio. No se duerma. Cantando. Ya terminé, Ticho. Vamos a esperar después de Angie. Angie. Ok, ya está Angie. Alexis, envíe la suya, por favor. Solo le doy a enviar. Así como lo están enviando sus compañeros, por favor. Aquí solo me parece enviar, bueno. Con su nombre. Con su nombre, Alexis. Perfecto. Mira el ejemplo que estamos, que tenemos ahí en el chat del es, grupo, por favor. Ah, en este momento. Ok. Dicho, ya terminé. Ya terminó, ok. Amilcar, por favor, envía su imagen. En lo que eh, Alexis está buscando ahí el ejemplo, envía su imagen, por favor. Ya terminé, teacher. Ok. Espérame un momento. Yo también, teacher. Ok. Daniela Milker, muchas gracias. Pedrina, ¿puede enviarle ya? Ok, teacher. Muchas gracias, Pedrina. Leida. Gracias. Gracias. Leida, very nice, Leida. ¿Ya está listo, Alexis? Yes. Ok, por favor, envíela. Nombre completo, por favor. Ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. Ya voy. Celia, ¿ya está usted lista? Yes, teacher, oh. acabo de enviarla. Ok, gracias, Celia. Muchas gracias. Ya está, uno, dos, tres. Eh, Ana, ¿está lista? Ricardo Alexis, muchas gracias, Ricardo. Solamente me faltaría entonces Ana Córdoba. Ahorita, teacher. Gracias, Ana.
Ana Gabriela. Muy bien. Muchísimas gracias entonces a todos por haber llenado la encuesta. Gracias a usted, bien. teacher. Gracias. No, por pero ayudarnos, sí. por orientarnos y por todo. Gracias. Pero todavía tenemos clase, no se puede ir. Ok, let's continue. No, no, no me quiero ir. <ríe> Let's no me quiero ir todavía. No me quiero ir todavía. Ah. Let's continue. Aprendimos del, del relajo que hicimos en el módulo 1. Ay, sí. 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 Okay. No. no, no se hizo relajo ahí. Sí, sí, sí. Yo casi lloraba, no podía hacer nada. Pobrechito, pobrechito. No. Siento esa frustración, yo la he sentido muchas veces con la tecnología ah. Ay, ay, sí. 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 Okay, very good. <laughs> Now, we were with, we had the first one, it was H E F. And what do you have in number four? Four, four. Would you like me to ask my brother? H E F. What about number four? Would you like me to ask my brother? Hmm? Number uh, is little G. Little G. No, I'm no. okay, thanks. I've just had one. I've just had one. Aha. Uh -huh. One what? What do you think he's referring to? Mm. Here we say, would you like me to ask my brother? Mm -hmm. Maybe if would you like brother, me to... If my brother, if my brother, if my brother has something, I don't know. Okay. And you say, mm, no, I am okay. I've, I, uh -huh. I've just had one. Uh -huh. I've just had one. Uh, what else can you have if you have these other sentences? Or can, or can I get you a cup of tea? Mm -hmm. Can I get you a cup of tea? No, I'm okay, thanks. I just had one. I just had one. That one is here. 7G. 7G. No, I'm okay, thanks. I just had one. What do you have for number four, Emerson? Would you like me to ask my brother? Letter A. Oh, yes, please. Could you? Oh, yes, please. Could you? Very good. Repeat with me, Emerson. Oh, yes, please. Could you? Oh, yes, please. Could you? Very good. Very good, Emerson. Number five. Can I come round to your house later? Letter B. Letter B. Well. Well, actually, my mask not feeling well. Maybe another time. Okay, very good. That is a good answer. Very good. Not right now. Mm -mm. My mom is sick. Puchi. Okay, very good. What about let number six? Could you lend me twenty dollars, please? Lend me twenty dollars. Sí. Letter. Sí. sí. Okay, read letter C for me, please. I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Very good, I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Repeat, I suppose so. I suppose so. But I need it back but before I need, Friday. But I need it back before Friday. Excellent, very good, Asalia. And the last one, would you mind passing me that menu, please? Yes, of course. Here you go. Here you go. Very good. D Here D you go. Repeat. Here D you go. Here you go. Very good. Here now, you go. I would like you to please uh, practice the pronunciation of these two. In pairs, I will say your names and you start, right? La persona que mencioné primero es la que le toca la pregunta, la que mencioné después es la que le toca la respuesta, así de simple, ¿ok? 
Uh, Sandra and Azalia, number one. Would you like to come for lunch for lunch this weekend? Oh, I I did love to, love to, thank you. Very good, I'd love to, thank you. I love you, thank you. Very good, very good. Alexis and Ana Gabriela. Can you uh, tell me uh, with this tablet a moment? A moment. With this table. Table, a moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it? Where do you want to put it? Very good. Thank you so much, Miss Cordova. Let's continue with Angie and Carmen. Um, uh, teacher, um, Angie, you asked the question. Okay. Um, que, que no <laughs> Ah, um, could you tell me no, the number three? Number three. Three. Could you tell me where the nurse bank is a place? I'm sorry, I'm not from around here. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Angie? Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? Could Repeat. You tell me, could you tell me where this, how uh, se pronuncia nearest? Nearest. Is, please. Nearest. Nearest. Could you tell me where the nearest bank is, please? Very good. Thank you so much. Let's continue with Celia and Daniel. Number four. Well, would you like me to ask my brother? Oh, yes, please call you. Okay. Listen, uh, Celia and Daniel, would you, would you repeat? Could you? Okay. Amilcar, could you? Could you? Very good. Okay, very good. And let's continue. Emerson and Leida. Can I come round to your house later? Later? Well, actually, my mom's not feeling well. Maybe another time. Okay. Well, actually, repeat, actually. Actually. Well, actually, my mom's not feeling well. Well, actually, my mom's not feeling well. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Very good. Thank you so much, Leida. And uh, Emerson, nearest. Repeat, oh no, sorry, later, later. Later. Very good. Later. Thank you. Luis Armando and Maria Concepcion. Number six. Could you lend my... Uh, twenty, 20, please? 20. I, I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Very good. I suppose so. Suppose. Repeat. Suppose. Suppose. Okay. I, I suppose, suppose so. I, I suppose so, but I need it back before Friday. Excellent. Number seven, please, Pedrina and Ricardo Gabriel. Can I can I get you a cup of tea? Okay. 
Repeat. No. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. Can I get you a cup of tea? Can I get you a cup of tea? No, I'm okay. Thanks. Uh, I just had one. Okay, very good. Very good, Gabriel. And the last one. Let me see. We're going to go with Pedrina. Sí. And Sandra. Pedrina, you ask, would you? Okay. Would you need vaccine me tightening, please? Okay, repeat with me, Pedrina. Would you mind? Would you mind? Passing me? Passing me? That menu, please? That menu, please. Very good. Would you mind passing me that menu, please? Would you mind many special me to menu, please? Okay, would you mind? Would you mind? Passing me? Passing me? That menu, please. That menu, please. Okay, thank you, Pedrina. Sandra? Yes, of course. Here you go. Here you go. Very good. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, very good. Excellent. So we have this. Do you have a question about this vocabulary? Question yes, about teacher. the vocabulary? Yes, go ahead. Eh, eh, me, 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 me corrigió en, en ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh, this is not a tablet. This is table. 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 Tablet es como el dispositivo. Tablet. Right? Table. Eh, yes, es table. Me. Mesa. Table. 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 Yes. Can you hear? Help me. Help me. Help me. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Another person? Yes. Uh, uh, in number three, could you tell me where the nearest? Nearest. Nearest. Uh, nearest is? Very close. Well, very close. That's a preposition. Remember we work with prepositions? Near, cerca. Where is the nearest bank? The nearest is el más cercano. It's a mm -hmm. verb in, in, en tiempo, conjugado. No, es un adjetivo. Es un adjetivo superlativo. Okay. It's a superlative adjective. The nearest bank. Mm -hmm. The verb is tell me. It's tell like me. Big, uh, okay, okay. big, biggest. It's big. superlative. Mm -hmm. It's superlative. superlative. Yes. Okay. Big, biggest. Need, nearest. Very good. Good question. Letter, Thank you. Letter G teacher. Uh -huh. uh, Jules will be used how one. No? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh -huh. Can I get you a cup of tea? Can I get you a cup of tea, Carmen? Y la Carmen como ha pasado toda la noche tomando té, right? Can I get you a cup of tea, Carmen? No, I'm okay, thanks. I've just had one. Ya tomo una, ya me dice, I've just had one. One, one is a cup of tea. Sí, pero acá el apóstrofe en la L con la IBE. This one. What meaning? This, this one. The meaning of this is this. I have just had one. How? Es, I uh, have es, una, es una contracción y es el present perfect. I have just had okay. one. Mm -hmm. Present perfect lo vemos después. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Thank Sandrita. You. Another one? No more? Okay, let's no, continue. Teacher, You're welcome. Let's continue. 
Let me see here. No, I'm, we're, we're gonna do this one. I like this one better. This one. Can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Okay. We're going to put these words in order, okay? The first one, and we're going to do this together because we don't have much time, right? The first one says, have some I can water, right? That's the first one. What do you think is going to be the answer? We need to put them in order because this is disorganized. Have some I can water. What do you think is going to be the first word? I can. It's a can question. I, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes. I have some water. Can I have some water? Can I have some water? Of course. Of course I can. Number two. Would you like a coffee? Would you like coffee? Would you like a coffee? Would you like a coffee? Very good. Copy, copy, copy. Oh, number three oh, is I... easy. Uh -huh. How can I help you? Okay. How can I help okay. you? Okay. How can help I you. help you? Repeat, Gabriel, help you. Help you. Okay. How can I help you? How can I help you? Very good. Number four. Could you do a fiber maker? Could you do a fiber maker? Could you do a fiber Could you do a Could you do a fiber maker? Could you do a Could you do a fiber maker? Could you do a fiber maker? Could you do a Could you do me, me, a, me a favor? Okay. Now, this is spelling favor is in British English, okay? But in, in American English, it's going to be favor. Could you do me a favor? Me puedes hacer un favor? Could you do me a favor? Can you lend me $20? Right. Okay, recuérdense, este es en inglés británico, este es en inglés americano. El significado es el mismo, solo cambia la escritura. Number five. Would you, would you mind? Would you? Would you mind? Would you mind? Giving. Giving, uh huh. Giving. Giving. Uh -huh. How? Uh -huh. Giving a hand, a hand. Giving me a hand. Giving me a hand. Giving me a hand. Giving me a hand. Would you mind giving me a hand? So, would you mind giving me a hand? Means, can I help you? Okay. Can you help me? Would you mind giving me a hand? I don't have money for the vacation. Give me money, okay? Would you mind giving me a hand? What's number six? Can me? Can, can you? me? Can, can you? you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Later. No, later. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Pick up. Pick up. Uh, later. Later, later, later me. Later, later me. Please. Later, later me. Please. Later me. Please. Can you please? Later me. Can you pick up? Uh -huh. Can you pick up? Later me, please. Okay. The word you me. Pick me up. Uh -huh. Can you pick me up? Very good. Uh -huh. Can you pick me up later, please? Pick me up. Uh -huh. Puedes pasar a traer, por favor. Can you pick me up later, please? Mm -hmm. Very good. Could you, can you pick me up? Pick up? Pick up means recoger, recoger, pasar a traer, right? Can you pick me up later, please? Yes, I can. I can pick you up at 7 p.m. Yes, Carmen? 
I, I have a question with, with this structure. Mm -hmm. In this case, you don't say pick up me. Mm -hmm. You say pick me up. Mm -hmm. It's like the turn computer com turn the computer on. It's the same case. You don't turn say it on. Turn, turn on the TV, for example. Mm -hmm. You can say turn on the TV. Okay. You don't say turn on the, the TV. Okay, there are, yes, you can say turn on the TV. It is correct when you say turn on the TV. But when you're going to use the object pronoun, right, then you say turn it on, turn it on. So these are verbs that they are called phrasal verbs. Son phrasal verbs, son frases verbales que se pueden dividir cuando ponemos un object pronoun en el medio. Porque con el object okay. pronoun, Lo, vamos, lo podemos poner ahí. Si ponemos el object pronoun al final, can you pick, can you pick up me? Eso está incorrecto. Tenemos que siempre uh, meterlo en el medio de esos, de esos verbos que están como pick up, turn on. Exactly. Eh, what is the example or the list of uh, about these special verbs that uf, maybe the are list is, two, two the, list is, the list is very big, Carmen. The list is very big. Like you have pick up, turn on, turn off, eh, get on, get with, off, with get two, up. With, it's a verb, there are a verb, but with two words, for example. It yes. are not a one, only one, uh, they, don't, they don't have only one word. They are called phrasal verbs. Okay. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal. Okay. These are verbs plus prepositions. Son verbos con preposiciones. Verbs okay. with prepositions are called phrasal verbs. Example, pick up. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. And we have time for one or two more. Let's go. Let's go. Number seven. Could you, could you, could you explain, explain, explain please? please? Could you explain, please? Uh -huh. Could you explain this? Could you explain this, please? Very good. And the last one. Would, would you, would you, would you, would you, would you like to come round, come round, come round? For dinner. for dinner. Thank you, Concepcion. Would you like to come round for dinner? No, I'm busy. Okay, very good. So these are the last example that we're going to see tonight, right? With can, would, and could, right? Take a screenshot so you have more vocabulary for you. And now uh, I'm going to take the attendance. Right, the last time is 10 p.m. before you go. Are you ready? Can I delete this? Puedo borrar esto? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, very well, very well. Okay, chicos, give me a moment. Please turn on your cameras. And let's see, Ana Gabriela Cordoba de Samayoa. Present. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria Juarez. Present. Azalea As Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Thank you. Carmen Lizette Hernandez Escobar. Present. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, teacher. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Ileana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Abidaí López Escoto. Okay. 
Now, we're going to finish here, guys. It's been a pleasure, right? Very well, you're welcome, guys. It's been a pleasure and hopefully I see you after vacation, okay? Yes. Have a beautiful day and enjoy your night. Enjoy your vacations, enjoy Holy Week. Hello, we're having a Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good <laughs> okay, we'll do. Él debería traer, ¿verdad, teacher? Ah, bueno, jocotes de miel. Jocotes de miel. Jocotes de miel, mangos de miel. Bye. Okay, see you guys. Have a good Hasta luego. night. Hasta Gracias luego. por todo, teacher. Happy and blessed. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye teacher. Gracias bye. por todo. Bye, Sally. Gracias, Gracias a ustedes. Bye, Sally. Un gusto. Un gusto. Chicos, everybody. Bye, bye. Nos vemos. Bye. Nos vemos. Bye, Salia. Bye, teacher. Cuídese mucho. Dios me la bendiga. Ah, igualmente. Muchas gracias. Disfrute.